jobs. We've created a total of 1,300 jobs with this development plan, um, 920 office jobs, 360 retail slash entry level jobs, and 20 community service jobs. So urban plan is an opportunity for high school students to engage in the real estate profession. So they get to play with Legos in a city block diagram where they place different colored Legos that represent different product types, whether it be single, uh, multifamily housing, luxury housing, retailers, or historic buildings, even a homeless shelter. And they make trade-offs on, from a financial perspective as well as hearing from community uh, letters of support or opposition to different factors, whether that you should have a skate park or not have a skate park, whether artisans want free rent or not. So they have to look at all this information as well as the financial trade-offs of building too many luxury high-rise apartments or too few, or having market um, homes or not, and you know, it, it gives students a real life opportunity to see what real estate development is really like. So, what happens during to, during the day to the homeless people when it's when the shelters shut down? You know, they struggle with new terminology. They struggle with. Um, you know, how do I fit these things on the block because there are requirements, you can't stack parking for example, you have to have access into parking garages, you can't just have it all blocked off. And then you have, you know, advisors like us coming in saying, hey, what's the street view look like when you're walking down the street? What's it look like? It can't just look like a bunch of, um, a bunch of big concrete corridors. And we also took into consideration pro arts. Uh, they wanted free rent space, but that's not going to happen. So that we it gives students an opportunity to go beyond the textbook, beyond the curriculum, and they have to see the real-world implications of the theories that we talk about in class. And they also have to use real-world skills, collaboration, presenting to people. So it really does transcend the, and add to the curriculum that we do here. And finally, um, the city will be able to make $2.6 million. Um, in the 10 years span with uh, tax revenue and sales land. Having a city council ask them questions about their plan and they have to think on their feet and they have to see how their vision uh, that they prepared for that plan really means in the real world as they present their plan to the city council. And then someone gets selected, someone gets chosen. The plan wins and just like in the real world, an RFP gets selected and we move forward and that city comes to life. You know, initially they're kind of lost, they don't know what to do. Um, but they find their way and they figure things out, just like the real world. You know, we're given a task. We don't know what to do at the beginning, but uh, we figure it out. And so uh, it really does mimic real life.